The world is overflowing with opportunities. All you need to do is have the right plan to execute. That's why I'm showing you 5.5 ways to make $10,000 per month. The first way, the NEAT. So a few years ago, when I had to stay late in the office, I always had these really deep conversations with this guy named David, who came in to clean the office every other night. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary. But then one night, I learned that he made $25,000 per month with his cleaning business. Depending on your city, cleaning businesses can charge up to $550 to clean a 5,000 square foot room, the size of a basketball court, which can take 60 to 90 minutes. Now, David, he worked with seven different businesses who each paid him $3,500 per month, which means easily he's making $300,000 a year. And contrary to what you believe, now is actually one of the best times to start a cleaning business because there's a huge void in the market. Many employers are starting to require their employees to return to the office, and many old existing cleaning businesses shut down when everyone started to work from home. Here's how to start. First, find your local cleaning business competitors on Google Maps and go on their website to find their prices. If their prices aren't public, call the cleaning company and pretend to be a business inquiring about cleaning services. Then tell them that you want to speak with an existing client for a reference. Now, with all this information, your main goal is to identify the high, mid, and low end cleaners in your area, as well as the areas that they serve. Find the businesses in the untapped areas and call them and ask how they're currently cleaning their space each night. If they outsource cleaning, try to find out when the contract expires and offer a 5 to 10% discount from what they're currently paying. If they clean in-house, pitch yourself. And yes, you're pitching yourself before you even have the business up and running. The whole point of what you're doing right now is testing the market to see if it even makes sense before you invest more time and money into this opportunity in your area. Keep your prices competitive in the beginning to start to develop initial relationships and then slowly raise them when you start to get more clients. You also want to control the supply chain as much as possible. Instead of letting the businesses provide the cleaning products for you to use, you go out there and you buy the cleaning products yourself and charge the businesses for it. If you control the supply, then you can slightly mark up your prices and have your clients form more dependencies on you. For the cleaning equipment, look around your house, your friend's house, or your family's house and ask if you can borrow their mobile buckets, their mops, their vacuum cleaners, their brushes, and whatever else you need. Get what you can for free and then buy the rest. Two, the word hunter. $872 million. That's the record amount of money from a single transaction that this next business generated for a very, very lucky individual, which is not me. And you don't need any specific skills or degree to start this business. All you really need is some good old fashioned creativity and $12. The nearly $1 billion transaction occurred just a few years ago from a little site called Cars Com. The sale wasn't for any cars, equipment, or any tangible real asset. The sale was for the domain name, the right for the company to own the domain name cars.com. And yes, that means someone paid $218 million for a letter. Now, that amount of money is very rare to come by, but it's not impossible to start making a lot of money every single month from this. Before I tell you how to start, take Grant as an example, a successful domain investor. Grant currently owns over 800 domain names, and he was recently offered $45,000 for a single domain name that he bought for just $300. That's a 14,900% gain. And the great thing is, most domain names, if you're the first time owner, will only cost you $12. Here's how to start. Sit down and brainstorm domain names that you think that someone else or a company would want to use in the future. Something simple and straightforward like books.com or finance.com, which are all taken. Then go to Google domains and type the domain name in and see if the domain is available. If it is, then add it to your cart and buy it. And now no one else can use that domain name for the website unless they buy it from you. And just like in venture capital and investing in startups, domain name investing is a numbers game. So try to think of and get as many clever, unique, and simple domain names as you can. Now, two easy ways to actually sell the domain name is first, you wanna put up a for sale sign or landing page on your website, or you wanna list your domain name on these marketplaces. 2.5, $34,000. So I gotta show you this opportunity on how you can make up to $34,000 in one single afternoon. I know this video is about making $10,000 per month, but I hope you can forgive me. 
This is super easy and fast to do and only takes a couple of clicks. I even personally use it with my own account. And by the way, this is not sponsored whatsoever. So just for my viewers, this stock investing app called Moomoo is giving away 17 stocks for free if you sign up with my link below. Each of the 17 stocks that you get is valued up to $2,000. So you can potentially get up to $34,000 if you sign up and meet the funding requirements. This entire thing just takes a few clicks. So if you're interested, link down below. 3.5. AI pod. This next 10K a month business is easy to start, uses AI and requires zero dollars. This guy profited $1.4 million from doing it. And I can't emphasize how easy it is to start. I even did it when I was 14 because I needed to make some money. The reason is pretty embarrassing to admit, but in high school, I was this nerdy and awkward kid. And I was always jealous of the other students because they always had new clothes and shoes. And my parents didn't have much money, so I felt really bad asking them for anything. And I wanted those new clothes and those new shoes. So I decided to take things into my own hands. I had like nearly zero dollars to my name and I just started a print on demand business. Essentially you sell a product like a shirt with your custom design on it. The best part is that the shirt is only created after someone buys it. So you don't hold any inventory and you don't need any money to start. Once someone buys it, the manufacturer creates a product and then it ships it directly to the buyer. So you don't have to manage any logistics. And the great thing is nowadays, you don't need to know how to design anything because I'll show you how you can use AI to do it for you. This print on demand shirt on Amazon sells for $17.88. It has over 5,500 reviews and on average, only about 2% of people who actually buy a product leaves a review, which means that he probably sold around 275,000 units. If he made an average of 30% profit per shirt, he easily profited $1.4 million. And that's only from one of his designs. He also sells a bunch more products, each with hundreds of reviews. Here's how to start. Check out these print on demand platforms and make sure to look out for these key things. Otherwise, you're gonna get taken advantage of. Potential profit margin, the catalog size of products, shipping times, and product quality. And obviously you want the best for all of these. Now for your custom design, unfortunately, you can't just find a cool picture off of Google and pop it into your product because selling that would be illegal. But you also don't need any design skills whatsoever. I'll show you how to use AI with this in a bit. But first, look for pictures on Google, on Pinterest, Etsy, or any other marketplace for design inspirations. Check out the top selling items in the marketplaces to get an idea of what people like. So let's say I like this design and I wanna sell it on my product. Obviously I'll need to modify it. So I'll go to this AI tool called Midjourney and I would simply paste the image into Midjourney. Once pasting it, you copy its URL and use the slash imagine prompt. Paste the URL in and ask it to make alterations to the design. Play around with it and find a few keywords to make it look good and different enough to put it onto your product. You could also create a design from scratch with Midjourney, like this where I just asked Midjourney to create a 2D image of coffee bag, along with some other keywords to make sure it's something that I can use. Now go back to your print on demand platform and upload the image onto the product that you wanna sell. Then you wanna list your products on Etsy. You can also sell it on Amazon and the print on demand website itself, but I prefer Etsy since it has the most traffic for people looking for customized products. Make sure to optimize your product titles and make your description super detailed so people can actually find it. Now, my favorite trick to get more people to actually see this product is to ask five to 10 of my closest friends and family members to actually buy the product on Etsy and leave a review. You can even offer to give your friends and your family their money back after their product arrives. The point is you want Etsy and other buyers to know that you are a good seller and that there's demand for your product. So Etsy can push it out to more potential buyers. 4.5, organic explosion. This $10,000 a month opportunity is still relatively untapped and only costs a couple of bucks to get started. And it uses everyone's favorite app, TikTok. I know, I know, but we're specifically trying to target impulse buyers and TikTok has a ton of them. Two out of three TikTok users are likely to buy something while on the platform, especially if something is trending. And before I tell you what this is specifically, I need you to watch this video. Right guys, the newest shower head to TikTok has arrived. This is it. This single video filmed on a phone has 9 million views. 9 million. 
no paid ads, nothing. That's how easy it is to go viral on TikTok. And even if 0.1%, 0.1% of those viewers buy that shower head, that's 9,000 sales. The shower head sells for around $20 on Amazon. So his potential revenue is $180,000 from one video filmed on his phone. This business is TikTok drop shipping. Essentially, you have a single item store and similar to the previous opportunity, you don't hold any inventories. And I know drop shipping itself isn't new, you've heard about it before, but TikTok drop shipping is relatively new and it's untapped for TikTok's audience. So back to the shower head. Even if this guy's profit margin is just 20%, he still can make $35,600 from this single video filmed on his phone. Here's how to start. Open TikTok and search hashtag, I bought it on TikTok. Find a trendy product that's really unique and interesting looking that has a very wide application. You want a product that can easily pique someone's interest within the first five seconds of seeing it. You can also search on these sites to find more product ideas. Next, and this is the only time where you're actually gonna spend some money, find that product on these websites and contact their suppliers to negotiate the product rates and make sure the suppliers are legitimate. Buy the product to test its quality and so you can also film it in action. Remember, and this is key, you need to make sure that your video starts off with a very interesting hook. You don't wanna make it look like you're selling a product and you wanna make it look super organic, otherwise people will skip your video. Since we are targeting impulse buyers, you wanna make it as easy as possible for these buyers to actually buy your product. Use Shopify to set up your single item store and connect it with your supplier. And then you wanna link your dropshipping store in your TikTok bio. Once your store and TikTok profile are set up, post your product video and use very targeted hashtags. You will need to make a bunch of videos to show your product in use in interesting ways to get more views. But if you run out of product video ideas, just check out other TikTok videos that are following this dropshipping model and just adopt their video to fit your product. 5.5, the underground. So I was genuinely surprised by this one because I never heard of it before and very few people in this space actually know about it. If we were to boil it down, it's affiliate marketing with a massive twist. And you don't need any social media following, you don't need to be a YouTuber, a TikToker, an Instagrammer, or even have to show your face. All you really need is a single picture. And it's kind of wild just how underground this strategy is. So affiliate marketing is just getting a commission for recommending a product and if someone buys it through your referral link. And the massive twist is this. You use the fourth, specifically the fourth, most popular social media platform that you probably never thought about. You see, the average post on this specific platform gets 100 times more traffic than the average tweet on Twitter. And the average user on this specific platform earns more than those on Snapchat, Facebook, and TikTok. And the best thing about it, it's actually evergreen. Which means if you have a solid image, a keyword description, and the right item, your post can grab traffic for years to come. This platform is Pinterest. And here's why affiliate marketing on Pinterest is changing the game and why you never heard about it. So this might seem like an innocent generic group mug image, but if I click on it, it takes me to this person's blog with links to buy the mug. Seems pretty low potential, right? But this person's Pinterest gets nearly 800,000 views every single month. With just this one generic picture, he's done four things. One, he's brought traffic to his blog. Two, people who wants the group mug bought it from his links. Three, he got commission from those purchases. And four, he also gets general ad revenue from all the traffic. Most of the items on his page are affiliated with Amazon. So he'd earn about a 4% commission on each sale. So every time someone buys this $29.99 mug, he'd earn a dollar and 20 cents, which isn't that much. But remember, his pins get over 800,000 views every single month. Even if only 1%, just 1% buy from him, that's easily $9,600 a month. And the beautiful thing for you is, you don't even need a blog. You only need Pinterest. Here's how to start. Sign up on business.pinterest.com and pick a niche with female oriented products. The reason is because 75% of Pinterest users are female, whereas 15% are male, which means you're gonna have a larger potential market. Once your account is up, read the affiliate guideline because it highlights specifically how you can link images to different sites. Otherwise you'll get banned if you do it incorrectly. Some key things you need to include are affiliate disclosures, your links must correlate 
correlate with the image, you can't provide misinformation, and you can't post too many photos each day. Next, find the products that you want to sell. Whether it's an Amazon affiliate code or directly from a company's website, type this into Google, whatever the brand is, and then affiliate sign up. So like Nike affiliate sign up, and then it'll take you directly to their affiliate page. Sign up for their affiliate programs and then find the items to add to your own Pinterest profile. For a much quicker way, check out ClickBank. This is not sponsored. It's basically a single website that gives you affiliate links for thousands of other websites. Then you're gonna wanna create the image that you're gonna post on Pinterest, but do not, and I repeat, do not just go on a site like Amazon or the company's website and grab one of the images to use. The key to a successful pin is a high quality graphic that will stand out from the crowd. So take those images, but use Canva, which is free, to spice up the images and add details to make your image pop. Then take some time and learn how to optimize the title of your post so that when someone Googles the word Groot Mug, there's a greater chance that your image will show up in the front page. Then add your affiliate link to the post. Now, if you really want to change your life, you need to learn how to grow your side hustle or your business while working a full-time job. These are all the strategies I used to build my side hustle while I was working full-time so that I eventually was able to quit. And trust me, you've never heard of these strategies before.